A Science Lesson, Comparing Life Cycles, Part 1. We'll start with story time, and then we'll order the life cycle of the butterfly. Compare the butterfly's life cycle to other living things. And for today's learning extension or homework, you'll have an opportunity to demonstrate your understanding of the butterfly life cycle. Today's learning outcome is describe the similarities and differences between the life cycles of a plant, human, and animals. What is a life cycle? A life cycle is a series of changes that happens for a living thing. Let's start with a story. The Milkweed and the Monarch by Ella. Hi, I'm Ella. I live in Abu Dhabi. This is me and my favorite plant, the milkweed. Can you guess why it's called a milkweed? If you rip the leaf of a milkweed, you will see a white liquid that looks like milk. The milkweed is an important plant to the monarch butterfly. The monarch caterpillars can only eat and grow into butterflies if they eat the leaves of milkweed. Every day I look for them. Butterflies have many stages in their life cycle. Can you help me find them? A butterfly's been here. Look what she left. Eggs. This is the first stage of a butterfly's life cycle. What will happen next? Out of the eggs come tiny baby caterpillars. They spend all day, every day, eating the leaves of the milkweed. The caterpillars grow quickly. Soon the caterpillar will change into a chrysalis. Today I found a caterpillar and a chrysalis. Can you help me find them too? This caterpillar has changed into a chrysalis. The chrysalis stage of life lasts for about 10 days. What will happen next? Look what I found today, a beautiful monarch butterfly. Do you notice anything else in the picture? Can you find the empty chrysalis the butterfly emerged from? This butterfly will soon fly away, but she will look for more milkweed to lay her eggs. And the life cycle starts again. I like looking closely at the world all around. What will you discover if you look closely? You know a lot about the life cycle of a butterfly. Let's see if you can help put the stages of a butterfly's life in order. So here we have a chart with the numbers one, two, three, four, five. And we'll take the pictures from the bottom and put them in order. Let's take a look at the pictures. The blue square has a caterpillar. The red square has an egg. The yellow square has a butterfly. The green square has a baby caterpillar. And the purple square has a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. All right, so which one of these do you think comes first? Did you say the egg on the red square? That's right, very good. All right, 
right now, which one comes second? Number two, which is next? Did you say the baby caterpillar? Yeah. Which color is the baby caterpillar on? Which color square? The green square, very good. All right, so we had an egg, and then there was a baby caterpillar. Look at the pictures now, which one comes next? Which is third? That's right, the big caterpillar. He looks like he's about to enter the chrysalis stage. Which color is that big caterpillar on? Blue, yellow, or purple? Blue, very good. And our fourth is the chrysalis state. Which color is that one? The purple, very good. And the last stage of this butterfly's life cycle, the fifth part, is the butterfly on the yellow square. Very good. All right, let's play a game. We're going to compare the life cycles of different living things. If they're similar or the same, you can give me a thumbs up. If they're different, give me a thumbs down. All right, let's get started. So butterflies are insects and all insects lay eggs. Can you think of other living things that lay eggs? Hmm. What about birds? Are birds similar to butterflies in that they lay eggs? Yes. Birds and butterflies are similar. They both lay eggs. A lot of animals lay eggs. Insects, birds, fish, amphibians, and reptiles are similar in that they all lay eggs. What about humans? Do humans lay eggs? No, that would be a thumbs down. Humans and other mammals do not lay eggs. They give birth to live young or babies. Let's talk more about babies. Butterfly babies are caterpillars. This is known as the larva stage of an insect's life. The larva does not look like the adult. Are human babies in a larva stage? No. Human babies look like smaller versions of their parents. Insects and bugs are different from all other living things because they have a larva stage of life. All other living things have babies that are smaller versions of themselves. Even plant babies look a lot like their parents. Now, what about the pupa stage? This is the stage when the butterfly turns into a chrysalis. Do any of these living things have a pupa stage? No! It's game time. All right, we have a game prepared for you where you can compare and contrast living things. You're gonna click on the link, and in this game, you need to check all the correct pictures. Here is one of the questions from the game, and if you look at the top, it tells you how many correct answers there are. This one says select four answers. Let's look at the picture. There's an animal in an egg. So we're answering the question, which of these living things lay eggs? Do butterflies lay eggs? Yes. And birds? Yes. And humans? No. What about frogs? Yes. And crocodiles? Yes. Do plants lay eggs? No, they don't. So this is what your slide will look like. All right. You can share the results with your teacher in whichever way she prefers. This is the end of our learning video for today. When you finish this game, it's time for you to do the learning extensions. 
So if you're in the green group and you're just getting started, you can print or complete the worksheet that we did today, sequencing the life of a butterfly. If you're in the orange group and you're on your way, you can use the ideas that you see here or come up with your own way of showing your understanding of the butterfly life cycle. Option, optional printables are available on LMS. For directions to the craft, you can click on the link. And if you're in the purple group and you're positively ready for grade one, complete either the green group or the orange group activity, and then create a video to share with your teacher and friends explaining your work and the life cycle of the butterfly. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye, see you next time, everyone.